Hey everybody, welcome to the infinite regression. Oh my god, it's so infinite and so regressy. Man, how'd it get like this? Probably your fault. Anyway, but don't worry, don't blame yourself too badly. We've got video games, that's right. Video games. Uh, so yeah, today we're going to play one called Physic Monster. I also initially thought it was Psychic Monster. It is Physic Monster, not Physics. Only one Physic. And at first I was like, this is a lie. And then I played the game and I was like, you know what? Accurate. Uh, so this game comes to us from, just kidding, you can't get it. You can't get it anymore. This is one that the Russian hackers got for me, and it does not exist on Steam anymore. You can purchase it on some indie game website for a buck ninety nine, but yeah. Why? Why would you? Why would you do that at all? A buck ninety nine for this? Uh my goodness. Okay, so what is Physic Monster? It is a clicky puzzle physics thing. And uh, it will immediately scream into your face, I was a mobile game at one point. <laughs> or I was designed as a mobile game. That is what it will scream directly into your face. It will grab your face and it will say, Hey, don't take me seriously as a PC game because I look like I was made for phones and tablets. Uh, sorry, that's just what it is. And um, you start playing and you realize, like, you, you've played things like this a bajillion times before. You get a certain number of moves, you're trying to get the guy down to the bottom and have him stay on the ledge for like a five count after he falls that's it that's what you're doing you're trying to have little red block monster reach the bottom touch grass and stay on grass for a five count that's it that's the entire game and look i know i harp all the time about like oh simple gameplay simple straightforward easy to understand get right into it but do not forget the other very important factor of gameplay is is it any fun is it fun though is it fun because uh this game was a bit torturous quite frankly the first two three four five levels super easy like really easy to figure out what you're supposed to be doing and then uh, you get to the levels where you just get stuck. I was stuck on level eight for forever. And I had to look up a video of someone else playing it, which by the way, there's only one of those on YouTube. That should be an indicator. Like people are not playing this game. Why? Because you can't get it, number one. And number two, because you shouldn't get it. That's the whole beginning and end of everything you need to know about this game is that nobody's playing it because they don't want to because there are better offerings literally like swing a dead dog in any direction i refuse to let you swing dead cats uh i don't want you killing cats for this dogs maybe but like anyway <laughs> Hopefully it's not a dog that you had to kill. Hopefully it's like somebody didn't obey leash laws and like, sorry, traffic is what it is. Happens. Sad. But uh, take the put that dead dog to good use. Swing it around. Hit a game that's better than Physic Monster at the one thing that Physic Monster does, which is be a little physics puzzle type game. Because I swear to God, I have played a bajillion games better than this that are so much more interesting. So, yeah. And, and here's the most infuriating thing about this game is the level that I got stuck on. And I went and I found a video of somebody else doing it. They did the same thing that I did, 
They just did it again and again and again until it worked because the actual winning strategy might not work in this game the first 27 times you try it and then you're looking around and you're like there are only i have one move i have a limited number of things that i can click on you eliminate all the ones that if you click on them nothing happens it doesn't affect the structure of the tower at all then you focus in on the ones where if you click them stuff falls down right and, and you watch what happens and you think this one almost gets us there almost but not quite and you think well could that possibly be the answer and the answer to that is yes you just need to try it 17 more times why do you need to try it 17 more times? Because the physics of this physics-based game are not great. <laughs> They're just not great. And this is one where I also would not be surprised if this was some bullcrap where somebody like took somebody else's game tutorial and turned it into a game, and then somebody called bullcrap, and that's why this got taken off Steam. I mean, I can absolutely see that being the case. So, yeah, Physic Monster. Is it a game? Not really. Should you buy it? Well, good news, you can't. Uh, should you play it? No. <laughs> like, you try to buy this game, I will find you, I will slap it out of your hands, and that will be that. Okay, do we understand each other? Because, come on, I'm not letting this happen. Okay, let me, let me put a final score on it, as if you need to know. But, like, let me put a final score on it. Okay, final score time. Here we go. Uh, so, how do we rank this terrible, terrible game that's not really that good at the one thing that it's supposed to do that is in its title, namely physics uh what do we do with this craptacular game well guess what final score is me finding where you are and coming and slapping the crap out of that game slapping it right out your hand that's the final score do not buy this it's not good you would have to go out of your way to find it in the first place and i would be deeply ashamed if you bought it so I think that pretty well sums it up, don't you? Anyway, people, that's it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.